Do you have many chat bot fields that your client has to set or reset at any given time? Or I'm going to show you how to use mini chat keywords to make it easier for them to set them or reset them when they want. And I'm going to show you that now. All right, let's get rocking here. So today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about ways that you can use keywords to update bot fields. And so you may have situations where the bot that you built for your client, or you may have a template that you're selling to multiple businesses, some niche. And within that, they have certain bot fields that have to be set or can be reset. Uh, for example, you're offering 30 coupons a month. And when the 30 coupons are gone, based on the bot field, and that bot field is used in other flows, you know, counting how many people are getting the offer, and then it cuts it off. And let's say that has to be reset every month. And so you want to, you could use a keyword to allow the business owner just to reset it. Boom, they type in the keyword, it's reset. Just part of the, the process for them to reset it. Uh, let's say you have, um, you're doing estimates and I have some service bots and they want to do estimates, but you want to give it, uh, maybe it's a template. So you're going to sell it to multiple businesses in that service niche. And you want, let's say you have an A, B, and C. A is a question-based estimate. So you ask them a bunch of questions and then you're going to call them or do something or message them in messenger, the estimate. Let's say you have a ballpark estimate. So it's more just flows going through and you can ballpark it based on some questions they answer and, um, or ask. And then basically you have a, uh, let's say just call, call for an estimate. You don't want to collect any information for whatever reason. So you have A, B, and C. So you could use keywords to allow a business owner to change that up. So let's look at the coupon example. So I, there's many different ways. Bottom line is if you have bot fields that have to be reset or set to certain things, or you can switch to different options and different menus, different things that you wanna give a variety of, of looks to your subscribers, you're gonna, you can allow the owner of the bot chat bot to be able to switch those bot fields very easily instead of going in settings and doing this and finding the field. Just tell them, hey, just type in this keyword, boom, it's set. So let's look at, it's a coupon. So we're gonna look at a coupon type, uh, coupon type flow. And so let's see. I'm going to make a bot field and I'm just going to call it a, um, I don't know, a uh, total, total coupons allowed. And then we're going to make it a number and we're going to set that. Uh, we're just going to leave it going to leave it. It's going to be blank. It's probably in the bottom, not set. And then we're going to go to keywords. And I'm going to create a new keyword. Turn these off. Create a new keyword. Call it um, set monthly coupon coupons allowed all right actually i'm just going to do make it short set mth let's see coupon number all right so it's set mth c o u p o n oh, i'm sorry let's write that down 
Uh, we're going to create the keyword, but we need to create the flow. So we have the field. And so we're going to do this. Um, let's see, coupon, coupon set number. All right. So in here, uh, do, do, do. I'm just going to put something in here just to publish it. So I have something in there and then I can select this keyword and I can go in here, set that as long as I had it. So now it's all set. So our keyword is all set up and we have our bot field that's not set. And so we're going to go back here. And all we need is an action and set custom field. And we can go down to the bot field. So set custom field sets a, a custom user field, but it also can set a bot field. And dun, dun, what do we call it? <laughs> uh, total coupons allowed right there. And we're going to set it to a number. I would say it's 30. Oh, 30. All right. So we're going to set it to 30. And we're going to move the starting point up there. And then we can actually put a code. Um, monthly coupon count reset to 30. All right. So that's the message that they'll get. I'll organize that. We'll publish it. So now if we, let's see, I'm going to preview it. So then I can just get messenger up here. And there's messenger. It says monthly, whoops, coupon. <laughs> I guess I can't type very well today. Coupon. There you go. Coupon set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to update this. Go all the way down. Yeah. Crud. Right here it is. I'm going to make it zero. All right. So make it two. All right. So I'm going to make it two. Let's say we didn't use them all up for the month. And then we have our keyword set monthly coupon. And so what I'm going to do is go set month coupon number. And so all the, uh, all you have to do is set that. And then we can see the bot field. We had set it to zero. I have to go back down. And there it's 30 right there, right here. It's 30. So it's, it's a great way to be able to, uh, just reset some bot fields. Well, that concludes our video for today on how to use mini chat keywords to set or reset mini chat bot fields. This will make it a lot easier for the client that owns a chat bot to do that set or reset mini chat bot fields. We looked at a few use cases. It could be a gym, a yoga studio where they have classes that has to be reset every month. Uh, maybe it's a restaurant or somebody that has, is using coupons. They want to reset that bot field every month. Or even if you have like alternative estimates, you know, somebody that's doing a question-based estimate, one is doing a ballpark estimate, one's doing a call estimate. You give them an option to switch it up whenever they want. If you have any questions or comments on it, please post them down below. I'd be happy to answer them. And as always, like the video, share it across the world, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Click the little bell so you do get notification that when I upload a new video. Down in the description, I have a link to a great Facebook group, all like-minded people sharing things. Come on and join us. And as always, have a great week, and I'll see you in the next video.